In 2010, uh, one of our customers uh, in Chile was instrumental in rescuing the uh, trapped 33 miners. Uh, we had chili dogs uh, and, uh, and, and mock champagne uh, for everybody. Listen, uh, to, to have that kind of opportunity in life, uh, you never know when you're going to be called upon and to respond uh, in such a manner, uh, it's what we thought we could do, it's what we expected to do. You know, it was certainly one of the proudest moments for all of us involved. It, what an opportunity to answer the call when you're called. Over the years, uh, as technology changed, the SRAMs changed with it, and that's how a company of this uh, nature stays around for 115 years. Behind us is a test pad that we built in 2013. It is a walking, talking drilling rig used in the uh, shale plays throughout the world. Currently, the prototype is operating in West Virginia and Ohio. Uh, it's drilled a couple of Utica shale wells as well as uh, six or seven Marcellus wells. We're first looking at the people that are on these rigs and making sure that they're safe. This rig versus a conventional oil field rig which would have a man uh, 70 feet in the air, uh, it would be called a derrick hand. There's no derrick hand on this rig. That guy is sitting in an air-conditioned booth operating a joystick. Uh, there's nobody on the deck of the machine while you're making and breaking pipe. Instead, we have an automated pipe uh, device that actually makes and breaks the pipe. They'll be roughneckers, but they're getting a little more sophisticated. The idea isn't so much have fewer employees, but to get employees out of harm's way. To attract young people to this industry, you're going to have to provide them an environment that they're comfortable with. And certainly joysticks and touch screens are way ahead of uh, swinging chains and tongs on, on a deck. They have the same work ethics as these guys did a generation ago or two generations. It's just that they're working smarter, faster, and safer.